What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I want to talk about some ways that you can prepare for the summer update for Red Dead Online. While a lot of people out there think that the summer update will be released on August the 20th, we don't have a date set from uh, Rockstar just yet. But that's probably a good general idea. I know a lot of the community believes that date will be it. And it does make sense considering that the Land of Opportunities kind of bonus thing that they're doing for the next two weeks that started this past Tuesday will end on the 19th. So a lot of people think that the summer update will come out the 20th. Like I said, it sounds good, and I hope that is the case, but we won't know until Rockstar confirms it. But I was kind of thinking, what was there some ways that I could prepare for this? And the main thing that I can think of is money. Now, I know a lot of you out there stopped playing a while back. You got tired of doing these same missions over and over, and I can understand that. But right now, while this Land of Opportunities uh, kind of bonus event is going on, you can get extra XP and extra cash. I think this is the best time to hop back in the game, start playing a couple weeks before the summer update comes out, and make the most money that you can. You can go out and fish. You can hunt. You can do all these different things. There's some other videos on my channel here of some good fishing routes and things where you can make good money. Anything that you can be making money on right now would be the best idea, in my opinion, because I think once these rolls are released within the summer update, this stuff is going to be pretty expensive. If you look at all three roles, we got more info about the trader. The bounty hunter and the collector, we did not get tons of information about. We know that the bounty hunter will have the ability to purchase a different lasso to help you kind of lasso harder to catch enemies. We know the collector will have the ability to have a kind of advanced binocular, uh, also a metal detector. So I'm sure those items are going to cost something. But we really didn't get a lot of details of what else is going to kind of go into this. And we sure, uh, well, I'm sure we're all pretty much positive that this is going to be kind of an unlock system. You're going to unlock these things, and I'm sure each little thing is going to kind of be like when you level up in the game. You know, you unlock certain items within each level. And I'm sure that's kind of how these roles are going to work. You can unlock certain things within each level, and you're probably going to have to purchase them. The one that really kind of makes me think that things are going to be expensive, especially for the trader. And that's the one I know a lot of people are interested in, and I am as well. You can get a companion for your camp, which is going to be a dog. I made a video about that yesterday. You also can get a weapon locker to store all of your weapons in if you don't want to take them all with you. And you can get a stew pot, which I'm sure is going to kind of be like the stew pot in single player, where you can go there, eat a meal, and you know, kind of refill all of your cores. I'm sure this stuff will be within a camp upgrade probably. And if you look at the camp upgrades right now from Crips, when you start getting into the higher level tents, you know, that give you more core regen faster kind of thing, uh, most of these tents are $300 plus. So I'm looking at most of this stuff, especially for the trader, um, to cost a lot more money uh, than probably than it should, I guess. I'm thinking the dog, the locker, and the stew pot are probably going to be very expensive also there was talks in the kind of update that they gave us that you will eventually be able to get a wagon for the trader to carry more hide to carry more animals i'm sure that's going to cost some money so right now i think you should go in do your dailies every day get your kind of goal bonus going do some stranger missions whatever you want to do but mainly find something to grind out just straight cash whether it be the land of opportunities missions some you know fishing or hunting routes Something you can make a good bit of money every hour. That way, when the summer update is released, you will have enough money to upgrade all of this stuff and be able to buy what you need as soon as you upgrade it. Because it's going to kind of suck if you're out there, you know, upgrading your roll and you don't have the cash to purchase each thing that comes along with those upgrades. Also, there's a lot of people out there uh, thinking that you need to go out and hunt and get perfect pelts for the trader. That's not a bad idea. I mean, there might be something later on that you need those perfect pelts for that you could already have them in your inventory and then just go ahead and make whatever you need to make once it is upgraded or once the trader roll is upgraded and you can go ahead and start selling. I'm not sure if that's the case. I mean, worst case scenario is you'll have a bunch of perfect pelts when the update comes out. If you don't need them, you can just sell them. So if you want to do something like that as well, it's not a bad idea either. Of course, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.